Hi, my name is Thomas, and this is my second milestone for my self-driving car. And uh, my second milestone was to have the Raspberry Pi communicate with the Arduino. Uh, and previously, for my uh, first milestone, I connected two potentiometers to, uh, to the Arduino, and I was controlling the steering uh, and the throttle with those. But the Arduino is only really capable of relatively simple tasks, uh, so the Arduino is just interfacing with the car, and then I'm going to run the self-driving program on the Raspberry Pi. And I also wired everything up to run off of a power bank on the car. Unfortunately, this milestone took me the better part of two weeks to complete because interfacing the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino was a huge pain in it. Uh, and I kept running into problems. So, the first thing I tried was serial communication, which in this case is over USB, but uh, it would never work reliably. It would always not output a value or not output the correct value. So, after about a week of trying to troubleshoot that, I tried I2C, which is a different protocol, and it just uses, uh, just uses three wires connecting pins on the Raspberry Pi to the Arduino. To communicate over I2C, I use the SMBus library on the Raspberry Pi for Python. So, in that library, I used a command called bus.writeWordData. In that command, the arguments are the address that you want uh, to send the values to, so in this case, uh, the Arduino. And then I could also, uh, another argument was a number that I send with the value that I want to send. So it's essentially sending two values at once. So the first one I can use uh, on the Arduino to identify whether the, the next value is for the steering or the throttle. So for the steering, uh, I had a value of 99. For the throttle, I had a value of 98. So basically, it would send for steering if I wanted to send a steering value of say 50. So so like uh, so it's pointing straight. I could uh, it would send 99 and then 50. So that way, on the Arduino, I could identify that it was 50 steering and not 50 throttle. So that ended up working relatively well, and it did send the value for a certain uh, amount of time, but. What kept happening was I2C kept losing connection between anywhere from uh, like a few seconds to a few minutes, and that would cause Python to crash, and you'd have to rerun the script uh, to get it to work again. So to solve that, I tried a few different things. Uh, I tried uh, increasing the delay between the signals being sent. I tried looking for electrical noise with the oscilloscope. Uh, in the connection, and then finally, uh, well, uh, okay, so I never really figured out why it wasn't working, but what I did was, in Python, I uh, used the try and accept functions to, uh, to determine, to catch the error, and then rerun the script if it detects the error. So once I got the Raspberry Pi to send a value to the Arduino, I just set up a a quick script that would detect when uh, uh, you pressed uh, keys on the keyboard on, on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, I connected this Bluetooth keyboard because uh, VNC remote desktop doesn't transmit keyboard strokes apparently. So with this I, I, uh, I coded it so that when you press W the car drives forward, when you uh, press A and D the car uh, steers left and right. Other than getting uh, the car to be able to be controlled with WASD, I, I soldered all of the connections instead of being plugged into a breadboard, and uh, I made everything cleaner. I got cases for, uh, for the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi, and I made all the wiring neater. The challenge I faced during this milestone was trying to troubleshoot the serial and I2C connections uh, between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino because I didn't know why it wasn't work. I still don't know why it wasn't working. Uh, it, it was relatively unpredictable and it, it would just sometimes work and sometimes not work, so that was definitely the hardest part of this milestone.